Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do acrylic extensions. So in the previous video also, I talked about how to do acrylic extensions. This is a totally beginner friendly video. So watch the video till the end. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and also don't forget to turn on the notifications. So without any further ado, let's start with the video. So first let's have a look at the client's nail as you can see she has uh, some uh, longer nails some small nails so it's just like all different sizes and shapes so first thing what i did was there was a little bit of previous nail polish that she applied so i'm using acetone and cotton uh, to remove the previous uh, nail polishes from the nail plate so this is a regular pol polish so i used acetone and uh, cotton to remove the uh, polish from the nail plate if the client has a gel polish on then you can use a hand file to file it down and then you can soak it off so just make sure that there is nothing on the nail plate before we start with the process after uh, cleaning up the nail plates what i did next was using my nail cutter i trimmed down the length of the natural nails so this is a very important step when we are doing extensions we always trim down the nails to the maximum okay so some clients they may request you not to trim down the nails uh, too short uh, but as a technician you can explain why we trim down the nails so now you may wonder what is the reason why we trim down so when uh, we leave the nails the length as it is and try to apply product on top of that just remember that natural nails grow uh, after certain growth it will grow downwards okay not for all the clients but some of them or maybe most of them you can say that will eventually make the product and the nail separate and it is going to put a lot of pressure on the nail plate so to avoid that we trim down the na natural nails as short as we can okay so you can explain this to the client and if they still insist obviously we can leave it but don't leave too long okay so next step as you can see i'm using an orange wood stick to push back the cuticles so uh, here you have to look at the angle the way i'm holding the orange wood stick it's not that pointing and pushing towards with the tip but i'm using i'm holding it in a side angle and then pushing back the cuticle uh, without hurting the client so certain clients they may have like really sensitive cuticle area so you have to be very gentle uh, little little pressure you can apply and then once the pockets are open then you can just go ahead and clean the uh, cuticle area without hurting the clients so next step is we need to do the dry manicure so here what i'm doing i'm holding the client's hands from the top side and pulling the side walls lateral walls of the uh, skin or the side skin of the client uh, towards the bottom and then very gentle using the 180 grit side of the file i'm going so close to the uh, skin and i'm just buffing it towards the right so when you do this just make sure that you're doing smaller smaller portions at a time just don't do like all the way from one side to the other just go slow and steady and then eventually you will have a clean and after cleaning it so as you can see we have a lot of dust coming out right so you have to keep on cleaning it with the dust of brush so that you can see um if there is any leftover dead skin on the nail plate and you can also use the orange wood stick in between just to make sure that you're pushing back the cuticle so that you have that a complete visibility underneath the skin also and make sure if you uh, so obviously whenever we uh, i personally i use fresh uh, hand files for each client so before if you're using a fresh hand file then just make sure that the edges of the file is like uh, buffed before you use it okay otherwise it might hurt the client so here i'm doing the filing once i'm done with the cuticle area then i'm just going to use the same file to buff off the shine from the nail plate i'm not using the hard side i'm using the 180 side now remember if your client has a very thin or damaged nails then obviously you can't use a 180 grit because then that will over file and it will hurt the client so you can uh, change the file to a 220 or a 240 grit uh, hand file okay once the buffing is done what i'm doing here is i'm using the 180 grit side and then gently buffing and <clears throat> and making the natural nails in a to a round shape okay so this way it will be easier for you to apply the tips so i have not forwarded any of the steps so that you can see 
how much time it takes and uh, since i am explaining i am doing it a little slower uh, but for a regular client uh, it only takes like 30 second to 40 second maximum per finger okay so here i am just making sure that i don't see any shiny area and i am using my orange wood sticks to lift and roll back the skin around the epinecum area epinecum is your cuticle area the skin uh, behind your nail plate okay so now we can see the nail plate is totally clear and after this we are going to trim the cuticle so now trimming cuticle is not a mandatory step for every single client uh, whenever you see something like this the keratinized skin around the epinecum area you need to trim that down okay so if you are new to this then i would recommend you practice on your own hand then maybe you can practice on to your uh, friends or sisters anyone at home you can try practicing the one thing you have to make sure is your cutter cuticle cutter that has to be really sharp and you use the tip side of the uh, cutter to pull and trim the um, skin and uh, make sure it's sharp enough so that you don't have to like really pull the skin and hurt the client okay <coughs> so here once i'm done in case if you are not able to reach any corner then you can hold your file like this and then just make sure that you are reaching all the corners of the nail just making sure that there is no shiny area in the nail plate if the nail plate is not clean then your extension will not last okay so uh, if you're looking for a good retention then just make sure that your nail plates are totally absolutely clean after done then i'm using lint free wipe and alcohol just to clean the nail plate so you have to make sure that there is no dust no oil moisture nothing on the nail plate okay so i'm wiping top of the nail plate uh, nail plate also i am wiping the underneath side of the uh, nail plate so now uh, since we saw the hand file method i thought i'll also include the e-file method so e-file i'm using a uh, a flame bit with a speed of 18,000 rpm and I change between reverse and forward mode depending which side I am doing so there is a video on my channel called Russian Manico you can check out that video if you wanted to learn a little bit more about electric files okay so same mechanism we are following here we are cleaning up all the dead skin, uh, dead skin uh, from the nail plate around the cuticle area uh, pushing back the cuticle and then just filing off all the dust and everything and then cleaning the nail plate next step is to measure the tips so i personally most of the time i use nail foams but since this is a beginner friendly video i wanted to show you how to apply a tip so first thing we have to measure the tip so basically for the middle finger it will be four five six uh or any of these numbers so you can take your tip and you place it on the nail plate and just see if your tip is reaching from uh, one corner to the other corner without pressing it too hard okay if it's going out of the nail plate that is too big if you are pushing it down and still there is a gap between your tip and your nail plate then that means that uh, the tip that you are choosing is smaller so it has to be an exact fit in case if you don't have an exact fit for a particular finger always go with one number bigger and just use your file to buff down that excess length and make sure it fits correctly okay here you can see from this corner to that corner the tip must reach without any pressure or force okay so this is the right fit here so uh, measure each fingers and keep the tips aside and once this is done then we have to prep the tip a little bit so here i'm using my hand file 180 grit side just making sure the corner so the co this tip was slightly bigger for my client so i just buffed the sides and made sure that uh, the extra length is filed off and then i'm using the same file to buff down uh, the thickness of the tip like this the reason i'm doing this this is actually a very beginner friendly step so if you're a uh, if you're an absolute beginner always follow this step this way we are filing down the thickness and then when we apply it to the nail plate we don't have to file too much to blend it with your nail plate okay so um, after applying the tip we always um, what we call we file it and blend it with the natural nail plate so when you move your hands or finger on top of your tip and the nail plate you should not feel a difference between the tip 
and your nail plate so we have to blend it that nice okay so here i'm applying the glue from one side to other side as you have seen i'm using shills uh, brush on uh, nail glue this is a really good one so uh, if you're looking for a good uh, nail glue you can try this one and i applied the nail glue holding the finger straight and then i'm going to press it down so see when you are applying the tip don't go all the way to the uh, cuticle area only cover uh, corner to corner how much distance is there that's what you have to cover okay and then i'm just uh, pinching it with my index finger and the thumb finger just to make sure that it's uh, attached correctly and make sure there is no gap between your tip and your natural nail when you look from the underneath side and also the tip should be straight like this okay in case if you apply the tip uh, incorrectly okay then you just uh, cut it down with a nail cutter and then use acetone to soak it off now after applying the tips we are going to cut down the length i'm using a cuticle cutter here so i'm going to cut down the length uh, so at this stage you can ask the client how long they want their nails to be and then just leave a slight margin don't ever cut the exact length as the client says this is just leave a little buffer so that you can use your filer to trim uh, file down the excess length you have once you cut it then you can't grow that back right so just make sure that you are leaving a little uh, leverage so that in case uh, you know you if you want to file down then you can file down okay so after cutting uh, the tips then you can check and then we are going to give a rough shaping so here i'm using same 180 grit side first i'm starting with the free edge and then i will also make sure that the side walls are straight with the nail plate growth and then we are also going to file and blend it with the natural nail plate so remember we already buffed the tips uh, before we applied it so now when you are filing it you don't have to file so much and also when you file just make sure that your file is touching only the tip not the natural nail and uh, uh, not not the nail plate okay otherwise remember we already did the dry manicure we cleaned buffed uh, buffed and removed shine from the nail plate so if we over file then that center area we are going to over file it and the client will feel uh, sensitiveness uh, even after the service okay so we don't want to damage the nail so that's why uh, this buffing of the tip is a good technique uh, for a beginner so after buffing and blending the tips you can just use your uh, alcohol wipe and uh, sorry lint free and alcohol to clean the nail plate so now you can see how clean our nail plates are now it is ready for product application So product application we start with the dehydrator so this dehydrator I'm using is from Mia Secret uh, you can use any brand's dehydrator that is not an issue so dehydrator is basically to remove oil and moisture from your nail plate uh, so we already used alcohol to dry the nail plate so it's already dried but whatever remaining oil moisture and also it balances the pH level of your nail plate uh, so just apply a <coughs> thin layer and then we are going to apply uh, primer so the primer I am using is a acid free primer again uh, from the same brand but make sure you are not uh, flooding the nails with uh, primer just apply a thin layer and make sure none of these products are really touching your skin okay now it's time for us to start with the product application so um, I picked up a bead and then I placed it where I attached the tip and then moving it side to side here I'm not speeding up the process so you so you can see how my brush is moving how I am molding the product and how, I'm, how I am moving it okay so just place it then press it down and pull it all the way to the free edge we have to maintain the thickness of the free edge we have to cover from side to side and we have to make sure that product thickness is uh, uniform uh, for the first bead here okay so just pre press it down once you're happy with the first bead application then we can move on to the uh, second bead so one important thing when you are learning just make sure that take your time to do the product application okay so when you do the product application right you don't have to spend so much time on filing and shaping 
okay so uh, that's exactly what i have done here so i will be doing a three bead application process uh, if the nails are too tiny then you can do a two bead application if the nails are too big then you can do four bead application also okay so the brush i am using that is a number eight brush uh, so you can see how big beads i'm taking here so second bead i placed it right behind the first one and then i moved it side to side and then using the brush i'm blending it with the first bead so when you do this if you see your product is getting on the skin just use the brush like this way and then just scoop uh, whatever is going on to the skin so this way you will have like a very clean application and as you can see from this side view if you look the thickness of the product will increase towards the middle area we increase the thickness the free edge and the cuticle side will have less thickness but the center of the nail will have more thickness so now before doing the cuticle applic uh, application you can just push back the cuticle skin once more once more so this is again a tip for the beginners okay so third let's start with the cuticle application cuticle application you have to also always see how much space you have to cover and accordingly you have to decide what size bead you need okay so here just place the bead moving it side to side push it close to your skin uh, just see here how i'm holding the fingers the finger should always be downwards okay so that the product will move towards the free edge not towards the skin towards the skin we always uh, use the brush to push the product uh, close to the skin just make sure that you are leaving a hairline gap between the skin and the cuticle bead So once your application is completed, look from all the angles and see if you have a good application. And now you can see we have a thin cuticle area, a good apex and a good free edge area. Once this is done, we can start filing and shaping. So I'm using the same 180 uh, grit hand file. So first I start from the side wall. So just give a rough uh, shaping on the side walls and the free edge and then I start filing so here uh, filing uh, so as you can see I'm holding the fingers uh, uh, from the bottom side and then starting from the cuticle area then going all the way to the uh, free edge area and bringing my filing to the center side so zone 1 is your cuticle area zone 2 is your free edge area so you finish 1 and 2 uh, so now if you see first half is done so then I turn the finger so I'm holding from the top side now then from the right side I'm again starting from the cuticle which is going to be our zone 3 where I'm uh, just filing upwards and just making sure that this side also is going and connecting to the center of the nail okay and then we are going to also file the zone 4 which is again the uh, uh, free edge area of the nail and just make sure that you are following a pattern so that your entire filing once you are done it all will come together and you will have like a nice architecture of your uh, extensions Once the hard filing is done, then I use a buffer just to make sure that the nail plate is more leveled because the hard file leave will leave some scratch marks over the uh, extension. So before the gel polish, we need to just buff it and level it. Again, I'm not using the extra smooth side of the uh, buffer, I'm using the 100 side. And this is how the nails looks like after we did the uh, filing, shaping and then the cleanup. And now it's time for us to apply a uh, gel polish so here I'm using a bright pink gel polish uh, I don't remember which brand it is so whenever you are applying the gel polish just make sure that you are applying thin layers of uh, you know gel polishes if you put too much and then cure it then it will peel off okay and also another thing when you are buffing when you are using the soft buffer do not use the shiny part don't make the extensions really uh, you know shiny and smooth then your gel polish won't stick longer just leave a little grip because then that's when the polish is going to stick to your nails for a longer time 
so here we did a little bit of uh, nail art also um, so I also used a uh, um, actual top coat here so as you can see some black particles are there some then random wavy lines also I created so this was just a simple nail art design uh, and after that I'm doing a top coat application I'm using a no wipe top coat and once you apply the top coat you can cure it for 60 seconds and that's how we do an uh, we do a extension using acrylic products so i hope this video helped you if you like this video don't forget to like share comment and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you need any particular tutorial uh, then do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy bye bye